everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I'm going to do a Dutch pour on. And I've put down a light coat of um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I've mixed it with just water. I watched Tammy Anderson a couple of days ago. She did a Dutch pour and she added water just water to um, all of her uh, regular acrylic paints um, except the primary elements that she used and that's what I'm going to do and I'll explain that as we go along. So the regular acrylic paints I'm using today are a combination of the Amsterdam Titanium White and Liquitex Basics Primary Yellow. I just uh, wanted a very, very pale yellow. And my next color is a combination of the Amsterdam Turquoise Blue and Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And that turned out to be a real pretty bluish green color. And my next color is the Color Art Primary Elements. It's their pigments and it's um, Plumeria. Very pretty color, purple color. Well, it turned out pink. I will show you that color, very pretty. Very, very pretty, Plumeria. The next one is the, uh, again, Color Art Primary Element and it is the Bayou Blue. Very pretty, blue. And the last color I'm using is a Color Art Interference Bling It color and it's the interference green. Now, for my color art primary elements and the interference paint, I did uh, purchase the Vivid Polypore, and I mixed it according to direction. I just mixed about one ounce of the polypore and about an eighth of a teaspoon of the, uh, the pigment. Mixed it up. All my paints I mixed last night. So um, the yellow and the bluish green that I'm using are just mixed with water. So I'm going to do a Dutch pour and I'm going to uh, circle my paints and then blow out with this Dutch pour. So let's get started with uh, blowing the paints, out, or I'm sorry, with uh, laying the paints down. Just going to try and circle the paints down here. This is different for me to just use water with my paints, but I thought I would give it a try. It worked out very nice for Tammy Anderson. And uh, I think it's Tammy Anderson Art. So if you get a chance to watch her channel, she has a very nice channel and uh, she does a lot of different uh, types of pores. And she also does a lot of resin artwork. So I would visit her channel. And the last couple of uh, videos that Tammy has done, she has gone into explaining um, how to mix your paints for different pores. So that's very nice too. Good information to have. And she does have some um, videos on the bloom technique. She does use a lot of the primary elements, color art uh, pigments. And I'm doing this in no particular order. This is experimental for me. I have not used uh, the color art uh, mica pigments that much yet. So just giving them a try here. And I have never used the interference color on top of the other colors, so that's also new. And this is the uh, interference green here. So I'm just going to put it on top. 
I have seen uh, several of the artists on YouTube use, use this interference and it is beautiful. And like I said, this is the green, but you can get it in red and um, other colors too. And what's nice about these is you need very little and I think I am just going to add a little more of this bluish green around the edge here. And maybe a little bit more of the yellow. If I've even laid the yellow down yet, I can't see it. Maybe I hadn't. Put some in the middle here. And if I have negative space today, that's fine too. I think I will put a little bit of my white around this to blow up on, the, on this paint, just a little bit. And to help the paint move. I will be using my uh, blow dryer and I will be using it on high and uh, cool to start. So let's just see where this goes. Try and move some of this out of the way. Okay. I'm actually going to turn it and keep blowing the paint up on that, the white paint. And I'll do it again. Dutch pours are very hard for me to do, so I am taking my time with this. I'm just going to blow it out a little bit more here.
going to take a look at it now. And I think I will torch it. And I'm going to just blow a few areas out with my mouth. Okay, and now I'm going to try and just maybe improve a little bit on the uh, composition. Just going to take my popsicle stick here. And I think I'm going to just take a little bit of this paint off. There still is quite a bit of paint on my canvas. I'm just going to add the white back in here. If you hear snoring, that's my doggy under my table. Okay, I like that better. And I may take my stick here also and just remove some of this paint. I do like the lacing in this area and I don't want to bother that. That's really pretty. Okay, and I like that better too. So I'm very happy with this. Give me just a little bit more here. And 
stand a little bit more right here. So it doesn't look quite so straight. Okay, I think I'll give it another torch. And you really can see that interference uh, green in here. You'll see it when I get you down for a close-up. And I will finish my sides off camera, although they do look pretty, pretty good now. So let's get you down for a close-up. Hi, everybody. It's Deb again. And I'm getting you down for the close-up now. Here's the upper left-hand corner. And I did uh, mouth blow out just a few more areas because I saw that some color was uh, underneath. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I just wanted to take advantage of all the color that I had. And this is the area where I blew it out a little bit. Very, very pretty. And I'm not sure if you can see the interference color or not, but it's very, very pretty in there. Very shiny. And I will show you in, in a couple of days the dried result of this painting. And here's another area that I blew out a little bit. This is kind of going up the middle here. And here is the uh, upper right corner. Very pretty. I'm very happy with these paints. And here's that little bit of lacing that I wanted to keep. Along with a little bit of lacing down in this area too. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And share it. That's important. Uh, ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.